Good afternoon, sports fans. Todd Edwards, Dean Jones, and a few other guests here, sports shooting stars, as we are seconds away from the playing of our national anthem here at Central York High School. There you have it, sports fans, and we welcome you to our spring sports season. Hugh Jones, Paul Burnett, Carter Scappa will have a full broadcast booth in the cozy confines here of the press box here at Central York High School where uh, the winds are howling, winds are moving left to right here at Central York Stadium. But uh, looking forward to this big matchup today, this afternoon featuring Land Peter, Strausberg, and Central York. Really a battle of maybe one, two here in the, our region. Yeah, coming in with Lampeter Stroudsburg, the Pioneers are number one in their section two of Lancaster and Lebanon League. Undefeated so far, 8-0, 6-0 in the LL League. Tied for number one in District 3, 2A this year with Trinity. Last year they were the district champs in 2A. Uh, that's their first ever lacrosse title, so it should be a really good matchup. There's a lot of odds on Lampeter Stroudsburg. You know, after winning a district title, a lot of fans are, you know, pretty much tuned in seeing what's going on. It also was a 2022 district runner-up, falling to 2A champs Susquehannock, which is in our county, York, York and Adams County. And they made it to the state semifinals in 2000, 2023 before losing to state runner-up Marge Division uh, District 7. From Western Pennsylvania, out mm -hmm. near Pittsburgh, yes. This season, they averaged 12.3 goals on offense and given up 4.2 goals on defense. They had two big victories last week against their rivals, Elizabethtown, and also Garden Spot on Wednesday. Coached by Mike McConney, he's been there for four years at Lampier Stroudsburg, pretty much since 2020, that COVID year that everybody hated. Oh, yes. And Lampier Stroudsburg, they'll be in their black jersey tops with blue numbers, Central York in the white jerseys with black numbers and we want to welcome in Paul Burdett who's going to be part of the broadcast yeah. tonight. Paul, uh, your thoughts about this first uh, lacrosse game of the season here for Sports Shooting Stars? Well, I have to admit I'm quite nervous, but uh, do had asked me last year to do a girls game and the girls game is much different. I had a decline. Uh, called me Wednesday and asked. I couldn't turn him down. I know dude does a lot of things for your carry athletes around here and every once in a while he needs a helping hand and I'm glad to throw my hat in the ring and give it a try tonight and see how we do. We're two very good teams. Um, I see uh, by looking at the rosters, it's kind of a flip-flop. Um, last year's central team was senior laden with seven seniors. Now this year, Lampeter Stroudsburg's team is um, stacked with seven seniors. So we kind of did a flip-flop this year. We only have two starting seniors for central, and that's all that uh, Lampeter Stroudsburg had last year. So we it's going to be quite a quite a showdown here tonight. Um, we want to see what Central's got against a tough Lam Lancaster Lebanon League team. Um, I believe uh, Lamb Peter Stroudsburg is probably one of the tougher teams, probably in the top three. Uh, Mannheim Township, I'm not too sure what they have this year as far as what they graduated, but I know they're always top in the league. Um, 
So yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing how we go tonight. Both teams look like they'll be filming each other out here for a little bit, and hopefully we'll get things rolling. Yeah, we are underway right now offensively. Central with the ball looking to try to penetrate here and punch it in for their first score. Also want to mention Paul Burdett is not uh, uh, is not a stranger to Central York as his son Kay Burdett does a lot of film work for Central York. Also was a lacrosse player. Did, did, did Kay, no, Kay didn't play lacrosse. They were Kay Campbell, but he also was on the football team and does a lot of the highlights for Central York and really across the whole Central Pennsylvania. Well, no doubt about it. You can check him out. Kay visuals. I saw him down there. He's down there set up uh, along the sidelines. And, uh, yeah. yeah, expect to get a nice highlight after this game. Two big-time district matchup teams right now land peter strasburg versus central york and central york comes in at seven and one on a regular season six and one in the wild double a trying to penetrate there for the score and they did it they break the ice and that, mitch myers yeah his brother megan myers correct well, one of the big things about, about mitchell myers tonight is uh he is now, after that goal, he is now three goals short of hitting 100. Wow. And as you guys can imagine in basketball, 1,000 points is the mark, while in lacrosse, 100, 100 goals scored is the mark. Mm -hmm. So hopefully tonight, Mitchell will put on a show for us and uh, show us how it's done today, and we'll get to see a little celebration today. Yeah, we mentioned, uh, of course, Mitch Myers also played football here for Central, and, uh, of course, he'll be attending Bloomsburg next year. Some other players to keep an eye on for Central. Uh, we, Brandon Anderson, uh, he'll be a hood commit, along with Cameron Deal, midfielder. Bennett Dame, midfielder. A.J. Basil and Karan Kupta. Some of the defensive players, Ethan Wood. And freshman goalie, Jonas Dahl. Keep an eye out for the freshman for Central. Yeah, that's one big thing about uh, Central this year. They have a couple holes that they're not used to filling. One is the face-off. Last year, I think they were winning like 80 to 90% of their face-offs. This year is going to be a little bit different. Cameron Deal, one of their great midfielders, great athlete. Has, well, we remember to, him from football right, last year. He has, to, he has to take on the role of Fogo, which is something. Explain that to the viewers that may be Fogo, tuned in for Fogo the first is, time. Uh, um, the guy who does the face-off, face-off guy on field. So when they – after a score, where we go back to the middle and you start the game over, kind of like a jump ball every time. So he's he's relegated to that role. Um, it's pretty much an on and off role. So you get in there, you get the you get possession, you get down there, you try to get your team set, and then he'll run off the field again and back on and back back and forth on the field. Um, and a turnover yeah. there now yeah, in transition. Yeah. That's the big thing with lacrosse. You don't like, need turnovers, especially in a team like Lamb Peter Strauss. And there it is. And there you have it, the first that, goal. That's a long stick goal. That's long. a long pole goal, so I'm not sure if he's a long stick. Yeah, that was – it's an LSM pole, so that they're kind of rare when a defensive guy gets to come down there and score. And score big score right off the for... turnover. There's no assist involved. He just jammed one right down the back of the net. And like I was talking about, here's your – here's your – J.B. King Here's your Fogo, goal. and I think this is Mr. Fessick right now so already they've adjusted and they're going to get Fessick a chance to I think that's Fessick yeah long pole facing off they're going to try and use a defender on the face off give up the face off a little bit I hope we got a little mishandle with yeah, the ball back there in the back Central gets a break here now we got to get it across the line yeah. get, get Keep possession over there, Central guys. Central's big thing is to keep possession as long as they can because of the face-off is now down to 50-50 for them. So getting, getting this ball in there half of the field, and they got to get in the box. In the box is around the 35-yard line, I believe. I can't see the lines very well. Yeah, with the sun kind of You have about 10 shining. seconds to get it in, into that box, and you'll see the rest counted down. They get so much time to – Get it in there after they cross the midline. And it looks like there's a 
a timeout called on the field by Central with 8.03 remaining here in the first period and we're knotted up one to one. And you mentioned some of the Central players to keep an eye on. How about the pioneers of Lampeter, Straussburg, some players, Owen Kraus, uh, Franklin and Marshall commit, Anthony Carson, another player, and uh, a, a D1 commit to Towson. On the defensive side, Drexton Frank. Yeah, that's big time. Towson's a big program, usually oh, nationally ranked. Sometimes they get in the top ten. Uh, Cross is kind of wild in D1. You can be in the top five one week and down to 15 the next. So, uh, Just want to ask you, Paul, wh what type of pressure for a rookie, I'm sorry, a freshman goalie to have, you know, be on, on a team like this and be a freshman goalie? What type of pressure is that? Yeah, I would have to, I would have to say that. That young man's in, in it. You know, he's he's probably thinking about it all the time. Um, he's replacing a good goalie in Luke Clopton, who was a senior. It's kind of amazing that Central didn't have anybody else in the back. But for a freshman to step up and take on this role, kudos to him. And he's doing a pretty daggone good job. And this, he's only going to improve. So I'm the. And I know both of his parents. He comes oh, yeah. from good – oh, yeah, no doubt. So yeah, I'm not, I'm not too, and potentially well, a four-year starter here for absolutely. Central. Absolutely. Clearly he starting as do. a freshman, yes. He's going to have all the time in the world to get better. Central coming off the timeout with the possession offensively. This is Cole Heinhold with the ball right now. And a shot oh, to the net. Oh, he and just shot that one cool. from about 20 yards out. Yeah. Well, maybe 15. I'm looking at the 20. Cameron Deal, we mentioned. We talked about him, Paul, earlier. Cameron Deal with the goal. Yeah, Cameron's one of those kids in high school that you may have gone to school with who probably would pick up any sport and start at it. And do it whether well. It be huh? golf or whatever. Golf, I, table, tennis, I, I, football. We saw him on the this yeah, same this, field in the fall him. last year. He could, he could probably – Get Spelled to Joel's golf league. some relief from Absolutely, time to time. Yeah, Even actually when golf was injured, he came in. And... Now, uh, Paul, is, is Cam deal? Is this is his sport? Is, is this his focus, uh, lacrosse, or is it more football? Do you know? Uh, I'm, I can't speak for him, but uh, I, I believe lacrosse is his number one. Um, I, I know with football, he had some people above him and that kind of thing, but once he got on the – on the field and into the season, it looked like he picked up loving football. So I just think whatever yeah. the season is, that kid's going to love whatever he's doing. This is a little Basile. He, he's kind of a water bug. He's fast as all get out. He can probably run backwards as fast as he can forward. Um, and just a sophomore. Yeah, he, he, he's fun to watch. He, he gets caught in traffic sometimes a little bit too much, but, man, he, he can make some plays. And we got possession right back. This is this is looking good for Central right now. Yeah, right now this is the way you wanted to start things off, Paul, here tonight. This yeah. Friday night. Central historically starts out slow, and that's what they've been doing this season thus far. And right now they look like they came out of the gates pretty strong here. And holding a 2-1 lead right now with just under 6.30 to go here in the first period. Let's see, they're making a shift here. They're bringing in some extra help, getting some guys some rest. They've got a whistle. Clock issue here. Yeah, the clock turned off. Now it's back on here at Panther Stadium. And we're back. Mitchell Myers is starting, has the ball over there in the far corner. Uh, he's a big man. He, yes, he, he is. Run through two or three guys and. And, and fans that are tuned into today's broadcast, they may remember his, his name from being on the offensive line for Central York Panthers football team. I think, uh, Todd, to be honest with you, Mitchell's probably most famous moment was the interview you did with him. After the semifinals and the league championships uh, race, where all he could think was to say, dog, we're dogs. We're, we're dogs. Yes, we're dogs. I remember, yes. Last and he year. had his shades on. And he yes, he did. He was profusely. So, yeah, he got he got quite a good ribbon. That was at Horn Field at Red Line, yeah. Yep. Did, you did the interview right in front of all his teammates. Yeah. <laughs> boy, did he get holy heck for it. <laughs> He's a good, fun kid, though. And, again, we mentioned earlier he'll be attending Bloomsburg in the fall. Yes, absolutely. He's a Bloomsburg he Husky. Just over five and a half minutes remaining here in the here, first here's period. Mitchell trying to do his thing.
Central maintains possession. They're going to pass it around here, try to lull. And you sense they're, Paul, in no hurry to score here, take a shot on yeah, goal. I think they're going to lull these, try to wait until they find someone sleeping. And then uh, in the back, you can see, I think that might be Tiki Bagwell. That's Dayton Bagwell. Bagwell's little brother. Who I believe is at BMI, yeah, correct? Virginia a, Military Institute. And, and was doing well, very well there. He actually, uh, spring scrimmage, scored against Duke, who's like the number one team in the nation wow. right now. So um, Dayton's doing very well at VMI. A shot on just goal. Got a good shot there. Cameron, Cameron Deal, Deal with it. You get Cameron Deal rolling, that's good stuff. And you mentioned oh, I'm sorry, number nine, that was Brandon Anderson. I think uh, Cameron may have passed it to him. With an assist, huh? <laughs> yeah, 11 the assist, and Brandon Anderson scored the goal. So, yeah, Brandon Anderson has a goal, Mitch Byers has a goal, and then Cameron Deal. So, that's good. They were All spreading adds up the ball. for three goals. Yeah, spreading it around pretty good. As, again, you can see they have uh, Fessick doing the fogo, and that's a long stick on the short stick. So, they're not really looking to win the faceoff, per se, but they're going to try and keep the – well, they got a free one there. Somebody must have jumped. They... Now Lampeter Straussburg, the Pioneers on the offensive side of the ball. All right, ran in the crease, I believe. That's just a dumb mistake on their part. Short coach Mack over there at LS is going to give that young man an earful. Can't be doing that. You have the goalie walking yeah, up. Yeah, I the see the goalie's dangerous. up at about the 35-yard line it's there, Paul. It's, it's usually – Something often done that's just can't get hairy every once in a while. Just over four minutes remaining here there in the you, opening quarter. There you see the drivers. Tiki Bagwell looking to dish back there. He had a heck of a game in New Oxford. He was he was serving out burgers at McDonald's that <laughs> the last game, maybe. He was lining them up. He just sits back there. It's called the X position back there, but and that's get, behind the goal. And there's that's Mitchell Myers. That's two. Mitch Myers now with two. two down two, two to go to get to that hundred. Man, am I glad I'm here for this one. <laughs> you you couldn't think of any other place you want to be a Friday oh night, Paul, than right here at Once Panther Stadium. That, well, last night he played against Redline and he scored five goals. And I kept telling his dad, he better not score them all over there at Redline. I want to witness this. You want to see it? And well, right now they, they he's off to a hot start. They bumped up the game last night because of the weather. The weather. So the varsity played first. So had his dad slow him down last night. He only scored five goals. Only five. Of, well, he's <laughs> well on that pace right now. Yeah, this We're is, just this in is the a good Lampeter, first quarter. This is a good Lampeter Strasburg game team. So they come in here undefeated. Yes. This is uh but like like I told you before our broadcast, this this sport can go one way. Yeah, you one mentioned half, that pregame. I've seen go, games where you had ten point leads and ended up losing. Shot on goal. Good, good line. Way to find that ball by that freshman goalie. Just a little bit off mark. You could hear it tink off the top bar. Yeah. And you wonder what the playing conditions, Paul, right now with the sun being out. Uh, players have to, having to adjust to the sun. Yeah, just as we are with the sun glare yeah, on the no doubt. Eyes are, just, you can hardly see the lines here on the field. And the box is good. Ah, ah, shot. Just missed it. That's a nice hard shot. Or waiting word. That was a Lampeter Strasburg goal. Yeah, I can't make out the numbers. Like we said, we got a window glare up here. It's seven. Owen Krause. Owen Krause, he's the young man who's going to Franklin and Marshall. Franklin yeah, and Marshall's getting a good one. So he'll just be diplomat. Right down, right yeah, down, not too right far. Right, right in his backyard. He'll be able to watch him and everything. It's. Good choice. Great school. 316 remaining. I think we got to jump again. Jump. Yeah, it's anytime in a Fogo, it's almost like a false start in track. Get one of those. Ah, we got a penalty. Yeah. A little push there. We we did see that from our vantage you know, you, point. You don't want to see the numbers in the back and make the push. That is a good call, despite what the central fans are saying. Yeah. Um, cool Heinel. Looks like with the penalty, number uh, 11. That's zero. That's oh, it's cam deal. Cam deal, cam deal I stand corrected. Yeah. 
I know. I they think do. I, <laughs> we, made, we made that mistake twice, or at least I have, with Heinhold being 11 and Cam Deal being a zero. Numbers kind of run together. Now you'll get to see here, Lane Peter Stroud, they're trying to set things okay. up. And big thing with Central is they're a whole new defense. Um, be, except for Ethan Lloyd, number two. He is uh, what Coach Ryan Muir has said is his team leader as a junior. He is mm. really taking a hold of that defense and making them making them something because he knows he, he needs those guys to – you know, we they they got goals. They want to be county champs again. They want to get the districts. They want to they want to get a district championship. Something Central hasn't done yet. We got another turnover here, and like we talked about, possession is key for Central this year. It was J.D. King with the steal, who has a goal for Lane Peter Strasburg. And now Lamb Peter Strausberg Paul seems to be kind of patient right now, waiting yes. for their shot with just under two minutes remaining here in the first period. A 4 2 lead by Central. Shot on nice. goal blocked by the freshman, Jonas Dahl. Tried to bounce one on Jonas, and he went down and ate it up. That's a great save by the young man. He's another good thing about uh, Jonas, he is delivering the ball out of his. And, and coming well, out pretty far, too, around yeah, the 30, he's, 35 he's yard making line. making good passes. That's something that uh, not all goalies are good good at doing, and that's usually a starting job. If you can't get the ball out of your net to somebody, meet Brandon Harrison, see what kind of – Brandon's known for behind-the-back shots and crazy underhand action. Shot on goal block. Right back to Brandon. Yes, he's right over the middle. Here it goes. There it is. And there it Deal is. It Goal. I've got a Cameron number, Deal. That Cameron looked Deal number zero. Brandon saw him open up there in the middle. I can't believe they left Cameron open like that. And two steps and fired to the back of that net. It's a great job on both all Central's part. Yeah, give Central now a 5 2 lead with 104 remaining in the opening quarter. We are going to pull Carter Scappa in here, part of the Scappa report. Uh, as part of the Scappa report at the end of this quarter, and uh, he can bring his thoughts on this first period game here. And Central's up. Man, Peter Strasburg now with the ball offensively. Well, they didn't get a touch. That's why it's one of those things where you're, you're just it's falling asleep. The viewers a little bit. Uh, there's a there's a box of blue line about the 30 yard line, but they got to get it in. You see where the 30 is. Yes. Even the numbers, they're the 30 yard line and where the numbers are. You got to get it inside that box. Outside of that box, they call the alley. He started going to the alley before he got in the box, and, and that's why I think that Coach Mack's gonna give these guys heck at halftime. I guarantee you that. You wouldn't want to be at the locker at halftime with no, Lane not, Peter Strasburg? after some of the, the uncharacteristic mistakes I've seen from Lane Peter Strasburg. Shot on goal. another goal. And I believe that made. And that's Cameron Deal again. Deal on fire with the, the hat trick already here yeah, in the first quarter. he walked right across the front there quarter. untouched. I think he got bumped once. Wow. Three goals for Cameron Deal. Yeah, you take two two for Mitchell. Touch. And right now they, they're getting them in bunches. 6-2 right now with 11.5 seconds remaining. In the opening quarter, I don't know if we explained it to the fans. It's four quarters, 12 minutes long. Correct. For fans that may be tuned in for the first time. Halftime, they'll go in just like any other halftime. Yep. And Corey will take a little break, get their senses about them. If you're central right now, I'm not sure you Paul, you want a break right now the way they're uh, playing here offensively. Shot on goal. Go. And we've arrived crazy. at the end of the first quarter with your score, Central 6. Lampeter Strausberg, too. You're watching Sports Shooting Stars. We bring the game to you. Todd Edwards back here, uh, Dude Jones. And yeah, we're bringing Robert Carter Scappa. Carter Scappa is the main guy behind all our stats that we do throughout this season. Um, he's also the guy who pretty much picked this game, Lampeter Strausberg versus Central York. He looked at the matchup. He said, hey, 
hit me up and say, hey, dude, this is going to be a great game, man. You need to you need to feature this one. So, you know, Sports Shooting Stars is here, and we'll give Carter a small intro so he can get into the get into the uh, into the game. Carter, hey, welcome. Thanks, What's up, Todd? How's it going? Oh, good. What were your thoughts on the opening quarter here? What you've seen so far uh, from it's, Central York High School? It's gone pretty well, even though Central has had some trouble with the faceoffs. I think they've they've done a good job on this side. I was expecting the way it started out. I thought it'd be a little slower offensively, the way they were passing it around, trying to lull them to sleep. But they've had some nice goals. How many goals, Cameron Deal? Three. Cameron Deal. Yeah, he has the hat trick as I mentioned earlier with three, yeah. followed by Mitch Myers. Mitchell Myers he's with did, two. Yeah, he's had a good one. And I think the goalie, goalie's doing a good job. Jonas Dole is really stepping up pretty well. And then as we mentioned on our sheet here, there's also they also have a sophomore goalie. Winning the job as a freshman is pretty impressive. Yeah, yeah, that's big time. And it's, it, that could be a pressure cooker, having mm -hmm. played goalie in soccer. Sometimes when you let one in, two go in, three, and it, it's kind of a ripple effect. So and he's uh, holding his own as a freshman. Just an opinion, Carter. What does Lampeter Strauber need to do to get back into the game? They've done. A, they just got to limit the turn. Oh, they got to limit the turnovers a little bit here. They're doing a good job on the faceoff, and then the defense will need to pick up a little bit. I think Drexton Frank's holding his own. I, I think some of their some of their mid defensive middies will have to step up a little bit more, just because Cameron Deal's a midi and he's he's doing a good job shooting from there. So and it, and they got plenty of time left in this game. Well, three quarters, right? Twelve minutes each. So there's plenty of time for Lamb Peters Drowsford, who come. They come into this game undefeated, Paul, and uh, right now they're down by four. But this game, as you as you know, kind of ebbs and flows. You get a lot of momentum, and yeah, you're right. I, there's I was looking no back need to save sometimes. Go ahead. Yeah, I, was, I was looking back at uh, Lampier Strasburg's opponents. They had some grinders uh, last year. They beat Calico in District Three Championship, and they already played Calico this year to a seven-six victory in overtime. So they they're battle tested already. Um, had a tough one against Governor Mifflin right off the bat, 6-4. It may have been a little rust, but um, they're in some tight games, so i not be surprised if uh, Lampeter Stralsburg starts digging in and nipping and tucking at this lead right now. And that's what Central's nice got to stop there. by keeping possession, as Carter freshman. said. Goalie Jonas Dahl. The sun is shining bright here, Paul, at Central York Stadium. And just a little while ago, we were wondering whether we'd be rained out here. But uh, the sun has come out. It's a beautiful spring afternoon here from Central York. Yeah, the Central Field, the home stands look right into the sun. Yes. <laughs> so yeah, uh, bring your tanning lotion. Yeah, yeah. How about it <laughs> right I, now? I get so mad at myself when I forget my sunglasses some yeah. days when I come here. And definitely a must-bring on your checklist at Central Stadium. Another great save. Another by save by. I tell you what, I, I think he is figuring out that they are shooting low on him. If they start changing their, altering their shot, and going higher on him, they might catch him cheating. Hmm. So, you got to watch that for the young freshman. Is he dropping to his knees right away to cover these balls, or you got to change the shot level on him? He's a, he was a freshman, so make him work for it. Yeah, and right now a timeout with 10:35 remaining here in the second quarter. Your score, Central York 6, Lamb Peter Strausberg 2. You're watching Sports Shooting Stars as we bring the game to you. Paul Burnett, Carter Scapadu, Jones, Todd Edwards, a full house here in the broadcast booth. And we thank you for tuning in and making some time with Sports Shooting Stars this Friday. Maybe before you head out on town and grab a bite to eat, we thank you for tuning in again to Sports Shooting Stars, our first game of the spring season. And, uh, and continue to follow Sports Shooting Stars on Facebook and Instagram, and then who knows where we'll pop up next <laughs> this spring season. Yeah, I was looking at that, and Carter, probably you have too. There's some really good games coming up in your county league. Um, Central and Southwestern will be here soon. Um, we're ho I'm hoping something like Susquehannock's coming in here pretty soon. Susquehannock's coming in here pretty soon. Yeah, we and they're always a perennial power yeah, here in Y I double A. A little shout out to York Suburban pulling an upset on Susquehannock yesterday. Rainy game, beat them ten to nine. Up, up at their place. Great win for the, for the Trojans. Well, I happened to be down at Susquehannock last night for the volley, boys' volleyball matchup where Dallas Town swept. So, but uh, that may have been more of a game there at the yeah. football field between York Suburban and Susquehannock lacrosse. Yeah. With that said, you brought up York Suburban. They got the Ranieri boys down there in Suburban, and they're 
Vincent the oldest brother hasn't played lacrosse he's a big hockey guy and he travels for hockey so he's missed out on a couple of lacrosse season but he's back now and he's going to give uh, Suburban a little help here as they get the season going here along with his little brother Dominic and here again you'll see Central pass it around they might bring it back out to the top start charging Yet no hurry to get a shot yeah, off here. Yeah, you see, Mitch will try to bully his way in there. He, he knows when he's got to put it back out. He's not forcing it too much. And, and no shot clock looks, here like basketball. Yeah, uh, it's, so it's... You, you, they, they will. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah, as uh, Carter Scapp is over my ear, he's saying that there's a shot clock at the college level, but not at the high school level. Right. Uh, there's one and there's a steal, yeah. Fortunate errors. Now he's starting to give them back to Lamb yeah, Peter, Peter Strasburg now in transition offensively. If they can beat the defense back down the field here, it's kind of key. Well, he's got he's got him open right there. And shoot yeah. scores. He did a little stop and go move. Not too sure who who that was. Yep. Gavin Dellinger, a senior for Land Peter Strasburg, with his first goal. And cuts into Central's lead right now, 6 to 3, with 9.22 to go. So you face off at midfield. Yeah, that was an old fashioned uh, stop and go right there. He just came around the corner, gave a little hitch step, got around the corner on him. He had all the advantage there. Nice move by Gavin. And the Pioneers now with the ball. These this, the viewers, Paul, that are tuned in, they may notice some of the sticks are, are big, longer than others. Do you care to talk a little bit about that to the viewers that may be tuned in for the yeah, first time for a lacrosse game? When Central's on the ball, you can see right now all the, all the guys down that land. I'm sorry. Lampeter has the ball. Central's on defense. All the guys down there at the end are D poles. That's the defense. Um, those guys will have long poles trying to, you know, longer longer pole. You can get your uh, stick in there and alter the shot. They also have an LSM who will usually be at the top on the – probably the best uh, shooter on the team or, or the best midi on the team. So usually there's – you're going to have four long poles on the field at the same time. Mm -hmm. Everybody else has a short stick. And a shoot. And, there's a, and scores. Yeah, I give, and back-to-back and -back goals now for yeah. Lane Peter Strasburg. That, that's what we talked about. I mean, mm. you can come in bunches, and hopefully uh, Central is able to answer the bell here. And Lane Peter, they, they want to keep rolling. So Yeah, right if now. They, if they want, and that's where Lane Peter might have the advantage with the Fogo right. position. They're bringing Cameron back in to try and face off and win the, get this That possession. was Anthony Carson. Junior, with the back-to-back -back goals now for Land Peter, and it, and you mentioned it, Paul. Right. These the scoring can come in bunches. Well, oh, 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 answered the bell right away. They, yeah. See, that, that's the athleticism of Cameron Deal right there. He won that face-off, got past the guy he was against, and dumped it behind the defensive line for a very quick goal. I mean, that that's that's remarkable on his part to what? figure that out as fast. Karen as he Gupta. Did. With his first goal. Yeah, right? Karim, Karim's a heck of a player last year for him. He, he contributed a lot. There's a big thing we call in lacrosse ground balls, and Kiram is a ground ball master. If there's a ball on the ground, he will get it. Well, Paul, correction on the goal. It was number six, Tiki Bagwell, with the goal. Well, it's, good for Tiki. Yeah, there we go. Uh, we did get a little time to tell you a little bit well, about Gupta. Six, but eight. Yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah, Tiki's wearing number six, number eight, Karan. Gupta. He's usually getting the, doing the dish, and he finally got one. So that's good on Cameron Deal's uh, well, eyesight he, to get get our buddy Tiki a goal since he does all the assisting here. And we got a turnover, and, and now Peter Strasburg wants to answer the goal. So we're going to get a timeout first. 
Timeout on the field with 742 remaining. Your score, Central York 7, Lampeter Straussburg 4. You're watching Sports Union Stars. We bring the game to you. We wake up with the sun. We live in a place we're proud to call home. For us, it's knowing that those we help are neighbors, friends, family. As the leader in providing the best orthopedic care for our community, we come together to do our part. Well, that's it. That's, that's a problem. Yeah, it's... But the, as the season goes on in football, you guys know the body. You know, the, you know who's Tipping, running the yes. ball. You know Tipping, who's, yeah. Right now, this is new to you guys. Oh, yeah. First team, yeah. I can't even tell these kids apart right now. And <laughs> probably coach he's had it. Yeah, we did. And then we did the volleyball. I think we did volleyball. Before we volleyball, I think we did the Central New York Suburban game. Yeah, we're, we're back, sports fans, coming off the timeout. We were uh, talking a little bit about our previous spring sports season last year. We covered some boys volleyball, girls lacrosse, and I'm sure some of the girls' teams may be interested in some coverage for sports shooting stars. I know the York Catholic girls' team uh, recently, Katie Boland, scored her 200th goal. I mean, you mentioned 100 goals, uh, maybe 200. Uh, a great accomplishment for her this past week. We did the county championships for track right here, which this year they'll be at Dallas Town. Okay, we'll be there. Yeah, I'll have to say, Drew Jones, with uh, that your uh, track meet last year, that was amazing. You guys <laughs> was, did a great job, a, and I was here, and I I was so impressed with the athletes that are out there on the track field, and we don't often get to hear about them, and you guys really highlighted some tremendous athletes. I mean. Well, that was spectacular. We have one that comes to mind, Layla Campbell from Spring oh, Road, yeah. who yeah. has a Division One offer to run track at LSU. Uh, as, a, as a player to watch, or a runner to watch in, uh, in YIAA. Yeah, Teammate Ella Bond as well for Spring Grove. So, yeah, looking forward to the county track championships. So many different events, Paul, that go on there. It's hard to kind of keep up with everything from the field events to the track events. Absolutely. I mean, track brings out all the, all the athletes from all different sports and – you know, you got your long jumpers who could be playing basketball or high jump. or Yep. And you got your Sprinters. big off, off, yeah. offensive tackles throw, out there throwing a shot put. There's number three for Mitchell Myers. We got one more for 100 for Mitchell. I'm getting goosebumps now. Mitchell guys. Myers. I might end up screaming. You're settling here. in now, Paul, right? I mean, this is it. Well, I'm getting goosebumps for Mitchell. He's got one more to go. I'm probably he's, feeling maybe a little bit more than he is. He's at he's three. He's a cool cucumber, so. I can't wait. Maybe you'll interview him. We'll see. We'll count how many times he says game. dog. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll see. Yeah, they just bounced over the speaker. One more goal for Mitchell Myers. Mitchell Myers. And reach 100. I know his mom's going to go nuts. Yeah, she's just down below she's, the broadcast booth here. I saw her. She's that boy's biggest fan, I'll tell you that. Mm. She's going to let us know when he scores. I guarantee you. <laughs> Yeah, well, Megan Myers just recently announced he's going to Pitt Johnstown yeah, he's to wrestle. From, from Bloomsburg, and he's going to go wrestle with his brother, um, Mason, who is also – Mason uh, got to wrestle this year at UP Johnstown in the national tournament for his first time. So, he's doing good things up there too. So, I remember Myers' family is doing quite well. Former Pittsburgh Steeler uh, Carlton Hasselrig yeah. wrestled there as well. He was also an accomplished national, wrestler. National champ there three yep. times and maybe four, I believe. Mm. And also a uh, Hall of Famer. Yep. Now Lampeter Strasburg with the ball. Under six minutes remaining before halftime. Your score, Central York 8, Lampeter Strasburg 4. Nice spin move and uh, loses the ball. Now there's a foot race to. That was Ethan Wood. I don't know if you guys take notice of that. Ethan Wood did what we call a lift. So when a guy is carrying a, carrying a stick, Ethan came up behind him and lifted his bottom stick, which made the ball fall out and created a huge turnover for him. And it's exactly the stuff Ethan Wood's crafty at doing. He's a great stick handler, great leader like we talked about earlier with Coach Ryan. Um, 
He's, he's going to have a heck of a future in the, somewhere down the road. The other thing, Todd, why we have the moment of little ball in action as we're holding the ball, there are so many uh, lacrosse athletes here who sometimes get robbed of us. I shouldn't say robbed, but they go down to play Calvert Hall or where the level of lacrosse is much higher, of course. So, uh, Below the Mason-Dixon line. Yeah. yeah down so in Maryland. We, we lose quite a few athletes that way, not, not just here at Central, but uh, everywhere. I mean, I know Susquehanna had to deal with it a couple of years. And, the Catholics had to deal with it a couple times. So I guess on the same level of what we see sometimes with uh, the kids going to prep schools for Absolutely. maybe football, football or basketball. basketball yep. uh, no I, different than the sport of lacrosse. Yeah, like uh, Ben Rowe who came back from mm. uh, West, Town. West Town. We lost a defender. Nick Ross went to West Town last year. Hmm. And that was a huge loss for Central. They, they, they filled in pretty good with, with what they had. Now lane pager Strasburg with the ball offensively. So right here, we can't let that ball go past the 50. You see mm. the Hungry Wolves waiting at the 50 yard I line, see, waiting yeah, for they that were ball. Waiting. Getting ready to play Hungry Hungry Hippo with their stick. And there's a nice little dish right there. Shot oh, goal. great stop. That's a freshman. Yeah, that oh is. Oh, my. Great. Yeah, Jonas Dahl, the freshman goalie with some great stops. Yeah, he's. He's impressing me to the, today in this game, I'll tell you that. Um, like I said, I think Lane Peterson start changing their levels on their shots, but so far, uh, Jonas like is there may, have been up. A, there may have been a crease violation there, Paul. And yeah, I'm trying to miss what was going on there as I'm bragging about the goalie. This is Ethan. Yeah. And, and that's the exposition there behind the net, correct? Yeah, yeah that's, yeah, that's for Lane Peters, usually, Strasburg, that lost usually the ball. Usually defenders don't want to go back there because you can't score from back there. But Ethan put a little pressure on him and started rolling back there. I think uh, Lane Peters, Strasburg took their eye off the ball and went out of bounds. Got Cameron Deal rolling it around, getting it to most likely Tiki. And Tiki Bagwell, just a sophomore. Central. You know, Tiki's one of them uh, kids who could, who uh, his brothers, you know, grew up with lacrosse sticks in their hands all the time. Tiki Born with lacrosse sticks in their hands? Yeah, and then Tiki, <laughs> Tiki kind of just hung out, you know. He, <laughs> mm. he didn't eat up the sport like his brothers did, but his, his father even speaks. He's like, Tiki's going to be the best one. You watch, you watch. Mm. So, and just a sophomore, as I mentioned. He's just a yeah, sophomore, and he's, he's starting already. So. Shot on goal. There's Cameron just a Ooh. little bit wide yeah, there, and that's okay. They keep possession. And that's why the X is back there. Yep. You have 2.49 remaining here before halftime. Central with the lead, 8-4 over the pioneers of Lampeter Strasburg. And to the west of us, Paul, those clouds look rather ominous here at Central York High School. Oh, shot on goal. Is that Cameron and that, I think that may have been Mitch Myers well, yeah, yeah. with his 100th goal. I just said your mom, the Congratulations to Mitchell Myers. We mentioned what an accomplishment that is, and there it is, Paul, yeah. his 100th goal. Four <laughs> goals tonight. I'm just glad he got it done today. Oh, man. And a, in the first half. No worries, a great Paul. accomplishment by... Mitchell Myers. I'll say this, I'm surprised mom isn't running out in the field giving oh, a hug and a kiss. I, I hear her yelling right yeah, now. She is. She's Husband cheering. Howie must have her on a leash because I know she'd be down. <laughs> Two thirty-two remaining before halftime. The face-off now. Lamb Peter Strausberg with the ball. Nine-four lead for Central York over Lamb Peter Strausberg. Uh, there's uh, Drake. Is that number seven. All right, so on Kraus, that's the F&M commit, dodging and weaving in there. He got a good shot on goal, went a little to the right. Uh, one name we've kind of, it's been quiet for, for Lamb Peter Strauss, for Drexton Frank, the Towson commit. Uh, haven't heard too much from him, although he's more of a defensive player, correct? Yeah, he's, he's 
I'm surprised they don't put him on uh, Myers, but uh, we'll have to follow that next time Central has the ball and see what's going on there. Under two minutes remaining before halftime from Central York High School. Loose ball picked up by Grant Phileas. Lamp Peter Strasburg. Now Grant with the ball. Shot on goal. As you see that long stick putting it up in the air like that caused a shorter swing and mm. deflection and all that good stuff. That's exactly what you want. You want to get that get that stick up in the air and point it towards the guy who's making the shot and try to deflect the ball. Looks like a timeout on the field with 123 the remaining. Your score, Central York 9, Lamp Peter Strausberg 4. You're watching Sports Shooting Stars. We bring the game to you. Carter, your thoughts so far as we are nearing the end of the first half? Yeah, so Central's done a good job moving the ball offensively. Uh, Mitchell Myers just scored his 100th goal. Congratulations to him. Uh, Lampeter, and then lampeter has got it right here. They're going to probably try to – They're what I would say, they might try to run the clock out and try to get a last-second shot. That's what I would expect them to do. They try to run an offense where they try to keep the guy inside inside the alley. They When we played them last year, they did, they did the same thing. And I would expect him to try to do that right now. Yeah, interesting to see as well as we're nearing halftime what adjustments Lampeter Strasburg Paul will make uh, for the second half of this game because right now they're they're being outplayed here by the central team. And uh, we mentioned earlier Lampeter Strasburg they come in with an undefeated record here, so it quite a feather in the cap for a Central York team to uh, knock them off here tonight from Panther Stadium. Yeah, like talking to me before, I'm I'm actually a little bit shocked. I thought. Uh, Lampier would come out and a little bit stronger here, but the mental errors and turnovers and things like that just aren't going their way. They gotta, they gotta get in the groove here if they want it back in this game. I know, uh, I guess their Lebanon league is known for a little bit better across than their county teams, but uh, their county's been catching up here and there. But uh, Lampier Peter Strasburg with a good coach, with Coach Mack, who actually came from uh, Radnor. Randers a state powerhouse. Mm. He then was coaching at Kennett out closer to Philly. Philadelphia so, area. Uh, he, they don't mess around with lacrosse out that way, so he's probably a, a little hot the, under the collar, I would guess. Well, and still plenty of time. We'll have two two quarters after halftime for Lampeter Strasburg to etch their way back into this game. But right now, Central with a five goal now, just, lead, nine four. Just what Carter had mentioned to before, we expected Lampeter to hold the ball for a last shot, and they did completely the opposite. Now they're going to bully bully. physical there, you see. This I mean, is, you saw that, Paul. This, I, is when the, this is when the lacrosse gets fun, when you get kids banging and going after it. You can hear the crowd. Yeah, they're getting into it. it. <laughs> so, uh, you see this more in the boys' game oh, than the yeah, girls' yeah, game. Yeah, the girls, don't, they don't have the helmet, and, and they're not allowed to have yeah. that kind of contact. And, and it, it can get chippy. And I'm sure it'll get chippier as this game goes on. And, Lampard needs a goal here. And he's, they're just shooting. It's, uh, a nice save, yeah. I'm actually quite, quite surprised. Like Carter said, you'd think they'd hold the ball and try and get a good shot. But I don't know if they're trying to get three yeah, goals Jonas. before the end of the half. <laughs> Jonas is going up. Yeah, he gets the, gets the ball out. We, you know, like I say, he's a warrant player. So we'll have trouble keeping him contained. Yeah, under 15 seconds remaining here in the first half. And, Paul, I would imagine this will be Central's final shot before halftime. Sure. Mitch Myers ah. passed the ball a bit high to pull. That was right. Drexton Frank that time on Mitchell Myers, so he locked mm. him up pretty good, and Mitchell ended up throwing the ball a little bit. And we've arrived at halftime with your score, Central York 9, Lamb Peter Strasburg 4. You're watching Sports Shooting Stars. We bring the game to you. And Paul, we've arrived at halftime, and I'll, I'll turn it over to you. Your thoughts on the first half action from what we've seen tonight here at Central York? Pretty much like we've been saying this entire game, that's uh, quite surprised with uh, Central coming out strong in the first half. But it obviously brought up last year, this is when Central woke up. So maybe Lampeter Stroudsburg is uh, motivating 
I guess to say <laughs> the the run that Central has because uh, Central, like I said, Central was 0-2 last year. They played Lampeter Stroudsburg, got out of there with a double overtime victory and ran the table last year in our county. And this year they're I I was fully expecting Lampeter Stroudsburg kind of flipped a script, but it hasn't happened. And for Central's sake, I hope it doesn't. Being a little homer, in yeah, that a little homer, huh? Right? <laughs> Uh, do want to see both teams do well this year because you know, you, you know you always you always root for a good play here. But, um, well, we have a whole second half of action here. Carter, uh, we'll pull you in and, and kind of at halftime your thoughts, maybe some stats that you may have collected uh, during the course of the first half. But let's talk about it. Let's give a little bit of a recap, Carter. Yep, I got a little bit of stats here. No individual player stats, but I've got. I, this is unofficial. Central has shot the ball about 17 times. Lampeter about 15. Uh, they did a good. Central has done a good job saving some. Go so Jonas Dole's done a good job saving some very key goals there. That were, and those and most of the time those are getting scored every time on any other team. But he's playing a really nice game. And I think the one thing Lampeter might needs to slow it down a little bit. Take some time before they before they get some, some shots off. They try to. It's almost like in baseball a little bit where. You can't get all the runs back right away when you're down. You have to take your time. It's almost like cooking a cooking cooking something almost. You got to take your time a little Slow bit cooker, with it. Right? Slow cooker. So that's how they got to they got to chip back into this this game that way. Well, yeah, looking forward to it. As we mentioned, they have a whole second half of action here, and uh, we're at halftime. It's a 10-minute halftime. Uh, joined by Carter Scapadu Jones. Paul Burnett, uh, Kay Burnett came into the Bronx, maybe to get warmed up a little bit, uh, <laughs> possibly. A little windy down there, Field. Uh, the wind conditions moving left to right. And uh, you're watching Sports Shooting Stars. We thank you for tuning in. And you can continue to follow Sports Shooting Stars on Facebook and Instagram and uh, find out where we'll be next this spring season. As we mentioned, we have football, or excuse me, baseball, softball, track and field, girls lacrosse, boys volleyball, boys lacrosse. And I do want to mention, uh, Duke Jones just mentioned it to me. We are the official broadcast partner for the YIAA that just came out this week. And uh, you'll be seeing more of our broadcasts, I'm sure, during the course, not just spring season, but fall and winter season as well. Duke, do you care to talk a little bit about that to the viewers? Yeah, that's going to be a really good time, man. We, uh, we are the official video broadcasting company for the YIAA, and we also have a website coming out that Carter Scapa has been working on, uh, you know, for the last couple of months. We're going to highlight more student athletes throughout the year, um, do some do some showcase th games as well. So, you know, we're really looking forward to this upcoming 2024-2025 season. But we're still here in the spring season now. There's some baseball going on, boys volleyball, lacrosse, of course, tracks right around the corner. Um, there's just going to be a lot of different events that we're going to be doing. Um, like I said, we started off with, with, with basketball initially, then we got into football, and then we got into girls' volleyball, and then, you know, we're just trying to touch every sport that we can. We even got offers to come do some water polo. So, you know, that's, you know, if it's a sport, student athletes are out there, then we're definitely trying to, you know, be there to showcase and, and give them some more attention. Sounds good. And, uh, of course, we'll. Take a brief time out here for our intermission and halftime. This is Marcellus Soul Block. And it's time to sit back and sit back kick, and it kick it with Dude Jones and Friends. Friends. The Shooting Stars, Shooting Stars. Sports Podcast Show. Show. We bring the game to you. Yeah, you know us as being the number one sports broadcast company in central Pennsylvania. And it's time to sit back and back kick, kick it kick with Dude Jones and Friends. The Shooting Star Sports Podcast Show. Want to become a sponsor of the broadcast? Or maybe you want to be a guest on this podcast? Well, you know what to do. Contact us. You can email sportshootingstars at gmail.com. If you need more content or want to support the Shooting Stars Podcast, just go to our social media pages. Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, and Snapchat. The Shooting Star Sports Podcast Show. With Dude Jones and friends, we bring the game to you. Contact us, sportshootingstars at gmail.com. That's all. Free stuff.
Welcome back, sports fans. Todd Edwards, Paul Burdett. And Carter Scappa, Dude Jones, we're all here at Central on a Friday. It's not Friday night football, though. We were talking off air some football here. It's lacrosse, boys of the cross. <laughs> Central boys with the lead 9-4 over Lampeter Strasburg as we are moments away from the start of the third quarter. Paul, are you excited for the start of the third quarter? Yeah, I am, and I'd also like to like to bring bring up uh, Mitchell Myers' 100 gold was in the first half. He needed four. He got them four, and let's see if he can add any more on here. Impressive. I was also, also looking maybe before the faceoff we can get this in. Southwestern is the top of the league right now at seven and zero, followed by a Central York at six and one. Only lost to with Dallas Town. Dallas Town six and zero. I should have put them first. Mm. They just don't have enough as many games as Central, and they only they take four uh, teams in the York County Championship or tournament. So the for top champions. four. Top four will go. So that leaves uh, Kennerdale, Eastern, Susquehanna, Red Line, New Oxford, Suburban, all of them to scramble for that fourth spot. It'll be a busy season for you yeah. watching lacrosse. How about yeah, it this yeah. spring? Shot on goal missed by A.J. Basil. Yeah, I saw Basil Insurance. Uh, Greg Basil came up to us pregame. His son, A.J. Basil. On the field. Yeah, five year sponsor for Sports Shooting Stars. Thank him for support for Sports Shooting Stars. The yeah, Basil family is big and prominent around here, I think. Uh, yes. <laughs> his oldest son uh, was, was a kicker here and at Central. Nick, Nick Basil, Nick, Nick yes. Basil kicked. 
Nick also runs the uh, the walk. The walk. The Aaron what Walker. What you guys do? Charlie's, Charlie's Angels. Angels the second annual run that will be coming up Memorial Day weekend. And for a young man Saturday. to come back to his uh, school and take a hold of that is is admirable. And it, and that goes to show what kind of family the, ba the Basils are. All your insurance needs, Basil Insurance. Check them out on Facebook. And Central being patient, as we mentioned, yeah. taking their time here, trying to find their shot, and there's a shot on goal. As, yeah, I was going to, I was just getting ready to bring that up. Uh, you see, Lampeter Stroudsburg's tight. They're they're down a man, so this is man up offense. So Central's going to eventually find a hole here and get a good shot off, but they're not going to rush it. Because they're a man, they have a man advantage. They don't want to lose the ball, and there it is. Shot goal, scores. That was Mitchell Myers to Brandon Anderson. Brandon Anderson, his second goal tonight. And that's a hood commit, Brandon Anderson. I think he he announced his commitment. Uh, I think right after football season, maybe. Can't remember exactly. I'm thinking about November, December. He announced that he was going to hood, so he's got that already wrapped up. He doesn't have to worry about. Uh, his future. He's already got his team. Hood College out. in Frederick, Maryland. Yeah, he'll still be close by for, for fans Mom to... Betsy and Dad Wade to roll down there, watch a couple games of Brandon. And a scramble for the ball. Under 10 and a half minutes remaining here in the third quarter. Central York 10, Lampeter Strasburg 4. And, and right now, Paul, uh, Central York in the driver's seat right now. We're looking for more here with the ball offensively. Yeah, I am I am thoroughly impressed with Central. I'm thinking of all the seniors that graduated this past year. They uh, had a lot of holes to fill, but... And it seems like they filled and, those holes. And I these mean, these just, guys are just clicking. You mentioned just two starting seniors for the Central York team. And, and that would be Brandon Anderson and Mitchell Myers. And you know what I'll say? That now it kind of makes sense. You had two older brothers, Macon and Dayton. And when we got to the end of the year and you had graduation parties, those guys had all the sophomore kids with them everywhere they went. So these guys, these seniors last year really helped this young team probably be better than what they – Normally would be in a, in a regular team. And right, right. you have two older brothers, two younger brothers. Kind of help it. They're all friends, all hanging out all the time. Mm. Uh, neighborhoods around here are littered with lacrosse nets, so it's not an unusual sight to ride through a central neighborhood and see about a handful of kids playing lacrosse just for for the heck of it. Almost yeah, like it's pick amazing up basketball. the popularity of this sport uh, of lacrosse and uh, the growth that this sport. Has seen here in the YAIAA. If you remember, maybe when we were a few years younger, it was really big south of the Mason Dixon line, but now it's kind of carried up here into Pennsylvania and it's. Yeah, ab absolutely. I mean, the, the big dogs always be down there um, and in Philly, down in Maryland. Uh, they are just at another level. And I don't want to knock any coaches, but it's, it's coaching. I mean, it's. They've, they've been at it for a whole lot more years than we have. Uh, we didn't start lacrosse up here until 2009. Interesting. So they've been doing it in the 70s. 70s, so yes. We still have a lot of catching up to do down there. Well, and meant, it's not a knock against coaches. Uh, you mentioned Towson, Johns Hopkins, and the, you know, a lot of the schools down there in Maryland, Absolutely. perennial powerhouses. Yeah. Now Lampeter Strausberg with the ball offensively. I will say that's in defensive lacrosse. I mean, if you're an athlete and you don't have a spring sport, and you're a football player or a wrestler, or you got a little bit of speed, you you just have the want to be a part of something. Lacrosse is where it's at. I mean, you are constantly moving. You need to be a hustler. I mean, that coaches will take you in a heartbeat. Nice save there by goalie Jonas Stahl. The conditioning aspect that this sport brings Paul up. Yeah, you have to be in shape. You're going Absolutely. up and down the field. Especially that midi position. If you if you like to run, midi's for you. Oh, there's a, big that's hit. a good hit, though. That's a good hit, though. 
It's unfortunate. But. Julian Lopez, uh, level number nine for Central. Brandon Anderson, and, and this for some that think that maybe this sport's not contact, Paul. Well, yeah, yeah. on that play, we saw it firsthand. Absolutely. That's why I reach out to football players when, you, <laughs> when you're looking for a spring sport. Get out here to lacrosse. You can still hit. There you saw uh, Van Peter Strasburg was getting ready to get possession, and A.J. Basil wasn't having it. He went out there and knocked the ball out of the long pole's hand and went out of bounds, and Central gains possession again. Under eight minutes remaining here in the third quarter. It's been all Central 10-4 right now over Van Peter Strasburg. Still plenty of time for the Pioneers to jump back into this. Ah. Stuff in the crease again. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Don't have mistakes. You try to avoid. Let's see if we can get the sticks up here on defense for Central. Man Peter's going to make a substitution here. Pull the ball out. See how he's set up. He's coming. Shoot on goal. Ah, yeah. Scores. That's seven again. That's Yeah, that's Owen Krause. That's Owen Krause again from Franklin Marshall. And Franklin, Franklin and Marshall diplomat commit for 2024. Yeah, you had to jump out on him right away. So I heard Carter over there calling that as soon as he came in on the field. Carter, your thoughts on that goal? That was, that was, a, that was a great goal there. He loves running down the alley or some of the – that's what midfielders do really well. That's what – Aiken Myers did – that was his biggest strength last year when he came out of the box. He would just try to run people over and try to score very quickly like that. And now the face-off here. Now Central so, with the ball offensively. Go ahead, Paul. I, I, I'm listening oh. to Carter here talk, oh. and he's talking about the, the face-offs, which we – kind of elaborated to in the beginning of this and being more 50-50 than what it has been in the past for Central, but this second half, uh, Central has dominated the faceoff. I mean, that's, that's truly uh, remarkable for Cameron Deal to get that going. He's feeling a groove at faceoff. And, yeah, and clearly the momentum's on the side of the Central York Panthers absolutely. here. Absolutely. Well, I think they're deflating, Van Peter. They didn't come out on fire like I expected. A five-point lead for Central. Just over six minutes remaining in the third quarter. Central with the ball. Shot on goal. Keeping possession with Tiki back there at the X spot. Doing exactly what he's supposed to do. And again, Central in no hurry, Paul, to get the shot off. Nope. There's Mitchell Myers oh. with a shot. Misses. Would be his one hundred one yeah, yeah, yeah. goal. He wanted that one back. Yeah. I'll tell you that. Well, you know what it is. It's that Mr. Frank is right in his back pocket. Well, we mentioned Drexton Frank and commit uh, to Towson, a he, defensive player. He looked like Mitch, Mitchell may have hurried that one up because he saw Mr. Saw Frank him coming. in his back pocket. Central's biggest advantage is just what Carter was bringing up is coming up from top with uh, Cameron or whoever at this point, and just coming down, beating the middies. So that's where they're having the most success. But Myers has a couple goals. Oh, he just beat Frank there. My little oh, forearm there, I see. By me. Ooh, and that. Yeah, everyone's getting help now. Yeah. And there's a nice long pass. Can he keep it? Nice catch. Nice catch, yeah. Nope. That, that looked like Bo, Bo Prabula. Yeah. <laughs> Connected on a long pass there. Yep, yeah, oh. turnover here with 447 and counting. Oh, there we go. Yes, yeah, Central. Basil, this is what I tell you. He's a water bug. Watch this. Whoop. No doubt about it. Breaks He's... wide open in the middle. Three guys on one. This is trouble for Rampier. Oh.
clock stops with 4.31 remaining. Inbounded by Brandon Anderson. They're going to bring it back out top to Cameron Deal. Going to bring in another guy here. Another midi. Looks like Cole Heinhold in there. Going to move people around in the middle. Set up Shot on goal. And scores. Cameron just decided to win Cam that himself. And again, like we, like Carter alluded to earlier, scoring from the top. So we have Mitch, Mitchell Myers with four goals. Now Cameron Deal with four. And it all adds up right now to a central lead, 11 to five with 4-10 remaining. Uh, Tiki Bagwell scored a goal. Brandon Anderson has two goals. And as I mentioned, it, it all gives central a lead right now with 4-10. Remaining in the third quarter, 11 to 5 right now. Central York over Lampeter Strasburg as we have another faceoff ball midfield. And here we go. It's and Cameron there you go, again. Deal. He is feeling it today. Once again, he's gonna. We're gonna make a shuffle here. And Cameron's gonna hold the ball. He got his touch as you just saw. And Pulled it right back out. Cole, Cole Heinhold, I believe his name is. He's going to start from the top. Do a little dodging. Nice move. Oh, he tried to left. Just hand. misses it. We call that the Canadian right there. I believe it's a right-hander shooting left hand. Left to the right. Mm -hmm. okay. 3.33 remaining in the third quarter. Central with the possession. There's Cameron again. Ooh. Just well, misses. <laughs> yeah. Almost through the uprights, but it's okay. Yeah. It just sends a message. Thought for a moment Matthew Parker was kicking the ball through yeah, the uprights there. there. No, it's <laughs> the kicker from Central York, who will be a senior next year, who uh, recently Virginia. committed to West Virginia. And then Jaheim White. Huh? Jaheim White, yeah. Matthew Parker will be down. And... Jaheim White should be in the uh, shooting stars. Oh, Hall of Fame. yeah. Action he gave you Shoot guys. scores. That's Anderson. That was third. Yeah. The hat trick for Brandon Anderson. Three goals. Yeah, you think about the sports uh, shooting stars Hall of Fame. I mean, Jaheim White, you think of Bo Previola and. Uh, Maybe there's some other names I'm missing, but the, those the two players come to the forefront at least oh my, yeah. from uh, several you calls that we've on, made. Two men in those years. Oh, yeah. It was some I fun football, no doubt. Both players provided fans. I'm a huge too. fan of both those players. Yeah, both players have about five sports shooting stars, player yeah. of the game shirts. Uh, like I said, they are considered our Hall of Fame. Jahi White and Bo Perbula did a great job out there. And also Kenny Johnson has, has two as well. Yeah, so. Dallastown Wildcat, now a Pitt Panther. I believe Pitt Panthers' uh, spring game is this weekend as well with Penn State's. Well, we don't we don't talk about that other team. In I know, yeah, or, I did. Yeah. But Kenny Johnson's part of it. You're right. Wish him the best, uh, him shot, Dallas Town right. alum. Yeah, I'll be traveling up to Penn State here tomorrow morning. I'm excited. I want to see what they do with Bo here with the new offensive coordinator up there. And, Hoping to see a little bit more of Bo this year. Yeah. So, dude's up here celebrating dude's, the new offensive dude's, coordinator. Dude's very happy about the new <laughs> offensive coordinator that Penn State has hired. and It'll be interesting to see what changes are, are made. Not only that, but the new defensive coordinator as well for Penn State yeah, football. And that may be not – I mean, we, we love the – Tom Mr. Ryan. Diaz there, yeah. Who um, moved on to Duke University to be their head coach. You got to do what you got to do. See what Central can get going here. Let me see if they can get other people involved. And looks like they did shift a little bit here. We've got Tiki up top now on the right wing, or left wing, I'm sorry. Looks like Bazile kind of took over the other spot. They're going to try to get some more. In the goals. middle, shoot, oh, scores. Wow. And I believe that was Brandon Anderson. Oh, he wants in the he wants in the leading scorer he, contest now. He's calling his shots. That, that's Brandon's fourth goal. Yeah, yeah they have, they have come to play here today, Paul. Brandon is a precision York. shooter. I will give him that. He's he does a lot of trick shots here and there because he likes to get fancy. He's he's a showman. 
I'll give you that. Well, let's, let's talk about it. I mean, Cameron Deal with four goals. Mitchell Myers, four goals. Now Brandon Anderson, four goals. I mean, just amazing. I mean, 12 goals amongst those three players. And then yep. Chip and T. Bagwell's one goal. 13-5 lead for second. Here's the faceoff. They're going to give Cameron a break here. And here, Mr. Jude Fasick, long pole, is going to try and keep the defender. And as you see, did a great job. He flipped it up all the way to the wing. Gupta scoops it up. I talked about Gupta earlier. He's a yeah, Gupta. ground ball machine, I'm telling you. And right back to it. It seems like a lot of action, Paul, yeah. has taken place down on the left side of the 50 here for us. And, and Central's had a lot of opportunities to score. Yeah, they, they, they'll work the left side. And then over on the other side is uh, the big lefty, uh, Mitch, working it by himself. They'll swing it over to him, and he'll, he'll fire one out of nowhere. But, yeah, they'll, they'll work on one side of the field and – Allow you to sleep on one side and then sneak it over to Mitch, Big Mitch over there. And oh, pass. Strategy that works out you well will. for you. Picked off by Central York. Imagine. Now Mitch Myers. Oh. oh. And yeah. a flag thrown. Look at him. And Mitch he's, kind of swimming on the turf. And oh, another yeah, yeah. flag may have been thrown. He's going to get for, a flag for that? That's... Yeah, potentially. Uh, oh, my. A little unsportsmanlike conduct maybe there, Paul? Uh, I don't know. I, by I uh, Mitchell kind of Myers. A... Swimming on the turf here, and that's a first for me to see, that I've seen that yeah, take that's, place. <laughs> that's not an intimidating maneuver at all. He's but just, maybe a more humorous one. Yeah, I think but, he's, say, he's saying, "I'll, I'll take that hit and keep swimming, keep chugging, kind of like Finding Nemo there." Yeah. <laughs> but uh, I thought a more funny rather than. And the men in stripes right now are talking things over with 124 remaining. Yeah, I don't, I don't like being comment. told the goal is good. I don't like comment on the referees, but they got to let the kids have fun too. Mitchell Myers with his fifth goal, his 101st career goal. Now, now he's taking the lead as the goal leader here in the game. <laughs> he Let's leads see, uh, all, all players with five goals. So I get, they're just going to just going to be a free ball to Lampeter. Mitchell is going to serve a penalty. I'm going to guess game misconduct. And as Lampeter Strasburg has a penalty on them as well. So, so offsetting. 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 Much, but they both going to be out. As far as playing time is concerned. Just over a minute remaining in the third quarter. Lampeter Strasburg now with the ball offensively. Yeah, he's wide open here. Nice block. Nice block. It's a great job by the Ethan Jonas. To cut off the angle there. It gives a small, small angle shot for his goalie to protect. And there's Ethan Wood. And now Central with the ball. Central up 14 to 5 right now with under 30 seconds remaining. And Paul. Mitchell Myers comes back in. He's, Mitchell, yeah. He wants back in on the play. 20 seconds left here. Mitchell with the ball. Let's see what he does here. He's going against Mr. Frank, I believe. Jack Groff, number 16 for Lampeter Strasburg. Okay. Got to go, got to go. Good shot. Had to get something off there. And we've come to the end of the third quarter with your source, Central York 14, Lampeter Strasburg 5. You're watching Sports Shooting Stars. We bring the game to you. And we'll, put, we'll draw Carter Scappa in here. Carter, the end of the third quarter, Central with a big lead, 14-5. Your thoughts as we've uh, finished the first three quarters here at Central York. Yep, as Paul mentioned, they're winning the face. Central's doing a good job winning the faceoffs here. They're... They, I don't know what the possession total is, but I want to say it's at least 70-30 right now. Hmm. So they Central's done a good job. They're scoring a lot of goals. And the thing about it is Lampeter Strasburg is not used to being down by this much. They, they've played, been in a lot of close games, so we'll see how they try to rebound from this. I remember a couple weeks ago when Central played Dallas Town, 
Central was down by quite a bit. They made it, managed to come back. So I'm, so there is a chance they could they could make it interesting if they can win a couple faceoffs. But Central's job here just not just don't make any dumb passes. Try to try to control the clock and take smart shots here. What I, I started picking up there, Carter, was um, when uh, Central's on defense, they're pressuring the X behind the net. Where at the other end, Lampeter Peter Strasburg is pressuring Central, and it's allowing Central just to do what they what they want. Mm -hmm. Really, and hold the ball and set up and do all, everything that they want to do. And uh, at the other end, Central's pushing them to, to get that ball out from behind the X. They're, they're putting somebody back there on the X and not allowing them to set up, which is causing bad passes or miss, missed opportunities and turnovers, uh, difficult shots, all that kind of thing. So kudos to Coach Ryan for for a good game plan right there in that aspect. And, yeah, and you wonder how, as Carter mentioned, Lamb Peter Strausberg uh, probably had not been down too often this year uh, to, to uh, in, in the extent of the lead that right now that Central has, and you wonder what they'll have left in the tank here in the final quarter to see if they can come back and, and pull out the win uh, as Central's up 14-5 to five right now over Lamb Peter Strausberg. Yeah, Lamb Peter definitely needs someone to give them a spark. And they got to find it from somebody here sooner rather than later if they want to get back in the thing. We got another one on face off again. And this Cameron to Mitchell. Oh, oh Mitchell right misses. I believe uh, just Frank, a bit outside there on that Frank, shot. Frank must have clipped his stick <laughs> I, I think so, yeah, because it right? sailed far left. Yeah. yeah it, it went up high. Maybe a little rotation here coming in of AJ. Taking his time. There's no, no pressure from Lampeter Strasburg to get this ball back. Now you might see there's. Well, there is a little bit yet. There we go. What? Just to, I have to do two on one, two on ones more often here. And if you're central, Paul, right now with a comfortable lead, do you, do you tend to bleed some of the time off the clock? Be well, patient want, as they have yeah. been all game. You don't want to change too much and. Unless Lamb Peter starts doing this, is putting somebody back there with Keith Beaton. They'd probably play a little bit higher than what they have done. Yeah, like I mentioned, Central keeping possession of this, this ball this game has probably been a huge effect factor here. I'm going to deal back, yeah, back. again. Let's see what he can do with this. They cleared the area for him. You see how everybody went on the left side there, Do Yes. Yeah. Uh, game, game card there, Now they double teamed them. Yeah, you see that. Yeah. And now, now they got two guys who are behind the play. And, oh. Uh, miss, miss, miss the shot there. Good to, I think, take one more step. He might have himself a goal. And Central with the ball here with just under 10 and a half minutes remaining in regulation. See if he gets it again. They're going to double the charging guy. Which does leave him open. The man open. And Central's still maintains possession here, Paul. Yeah, they're definitely eating the clock. It's not a whole yeah, it's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but this is an opportunity. You get to see how the how these guys move and what side of the field they want to work from. You see everybody back again on the far one guy on one side of the field yeah, back. and the rest are on the other. Spin move here, you'll probably. Which we got a. Bottled up on a three on one there. Uh, 
It seems like Lampier Strasburg's goalie is not, not as comfortable as our freshman goalie down here at Central. He doesn't really want to bring it up the field like Central does. A loose does. ball here yet. Uh-oh. Well, there's a great play again. That's number three. That's Mr. Sowers. He was a, a junior who was just praying and hoping Josh to make it. Josh Sowers, yeah, yeah, defensive. He was praying and hoping to be a starter this year. And he is that that X factor this year. He's hmm. really stepped up. He was a, a spot everybody was worried about back there. Josh Sowers has took it and run with it. And, he said, and yeah. with a timeout on the field, Paul, 8.42 remaining in regulation. It's been all Central York 14. This is Marcellus Soul Block. And it's time to sit back and back kick, and it, kick it, it with Dude Jones and Friends. The Shooting Stars Shooting Sports Star. Podcast Show. Show. We bring the game to you. Yeah, you know us as being the number one sports broadcast company in central Pennsylvania. And it's time to sit back and back kick it kick with Dude Jones and Friends. The Shooting Star Sports Podcast Show. Want to become a sponsor of the broadcast? Or maybe you want to be a guest on this podcast? Well, you know what to do. Contact us. You can email sportsshootingstars at gmail.com. If you need more content or want to support the Shooting Stars Podcast, just go to our social media pages. Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, and Snapchat. The Shooting Stars Sports Podcast Show. With Dude Jones and friends, we bring the game to you. Contact us, sportsshootingstars at gmail.com. Is no free stuff. We're back coming off the timeout. In between our timeout, talking a little football here in the booth, and now we're boys lacrosse. Yeah, it's it's a, a fun time to be a sports fan here and that and all the spring sports taking place here in YIAA. Yeah, well you got Mr. Tuttle up here running the scoreboard, the offensive line coach for Central. Yeah, yeah we, we can't help but talk about football and particularly Central York football, yes. So gotta apologize for taking a little bit of time away from these guys out in the field talking about football, but Got to do what you got to do when you got the offensive line coach up here. Yeah. And it's been all central lacrosse today, 14-5. Uh, to five and... Yeah, this, yeah this, two, two different uh, divisions in lacrosse here. Uh, yeah, 2A and 3A. 2A and 3A, but it's really not a whole lot of difference in level of play like you would see in football and basketball. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, I'm – like I said, I'm I'm kind of shocked by the score, but that that's a good thing for Central. I mean, maybe they're growing faster than what I expected, and the rest of the league expected, obviously. Oh, there's another shoot ring. score. That, that's Brandon Anderson again. Brandon Anderson now with he five goals. He scooped that thing up about as fast as he shot that. Yeah, thing. It, that, that ball was on the ground for a millisecond, and he put it in the back of the. In a millisecond. Making it look easy right yeah, now, Central York. A 15 to 5 lead over Land Peter Stroudsburg, 749 remaining. And it, it, Paul, it's been all Central. And, and we mentioned, do mentioned it off air here. It's really going to be a signature win, statement win here for this Central York team to knock off the undefeated potentially Land Peter Stroudsburg. Sure. I mean, there still is 749 remaining, but right now, all indications point to Central York tonight. Yeah, when, when Central lost that game at Dallastown earlier this year, just like last year. All the talk goes to Dallas Town, and then uh, Southwestern being undefeated right now. A lot of people are talking about Southwestern, and and with Central being four-time county champs, everybody wants to see the big dog fall. So every year, when uh, Central kind of struggles in the beginning of the year, they uh, want to want to kick the champs down. But the champs are asleep and dog here today, and mm. they woke up. And Peter Strasburg now with the ball offensively. I think I mentioned, yeah, South Central and Southwestern will play on April 16th. And then followed by that April 18th, Dallas Town and Southwestern. So mm. three of the top teams going to be against each other here. They'll be battling the it out. Week. Huh? And lacrosse fans should keep their eyes open for that. Uh, Going to be some good lacrosse play between those three teams right there. 
And a shoot score. And Peter finally gets on the board. Yes. Giving them a half dozen for the game right Yeah, now. and that was number 21, Landis Todd, a sophomore, with, with his first goal. And it gives Lampeter Strasburg six goals tonight with 649 remaining in regulation. But Central York has 15s and a timeout call now on the field. Yeah, check checking my notes here. Uh, Landis Todd must be one of the bench players, of course. And maybe that's what they need. Some of these guys will come off the bench and give this Lampeter Strasburg a spark. Goals aren't coming quite as easy and giving some other guys a chance here. Coach might might be finding new players here. You gotta try to insert take a hold one. take a hold of the chance you get when yeah, you get in there and Todd and ripped one of it. pretty dad going good right there. Carter, your thoughts as we're kind of winding down this game and it's been kind of all central York over Land Peter Strasburg. Yep, Central's doing a good job playing with confidence. That's why that's the reason they're winning this game. And also, I want to give a quick shout out to Central York assistant coach Zach Lombardo. He was my head coach last year over at York Catholic, and you remember when you did that game last year with them in Eastern. Yes. So he's he usually works with fo with Fogos and goalies. He's do, he's done a good job with these guys. And Lamp Peter Strasburg is the one team he really loves to play every year. So he he I say he's definitely drew up something good, drew up a good game plan today for them, and it's been all Central. So. And also, I was hearing your conversation about potential central teams coming up. They got a tough one at the end of the year coming up with State College, number two in District 3-3A. Yeah, it should be a fun time of the year with spring sports season. Yeah, absolutely. And, and to get back on the, the coaching aspect for the central squad, that is a huge get, getting Lombardo over there. It's two head coaches on your staff right staff. there. And then uh, – they have an uh, offensive guru, Ian Dessenberg, mm. who puts together the offensive game plans over here. And he's he's been uh, he's kind of a central legend. He's played Division One lacrosse himself, and uh, they got they got an all star staff here at Central. Central does a good job uh, getting good coaches in these sports programs. I think well, wrestling it shows program, on the field, yeah, the wrestling from program wrestling has an basketball. Excellent, Basketball is excellent. Yeah, I've seen their, of course, their football programs so, the past several years, and uh, let's not forget the boys' volleyball team. So yeah, and big tournament coming up this weekend here at Central, the Kohler Classic. We mentioned, yeah, we mentioned news mentioned. Yeah, we mentioned the state champs. Yeah, for beating Parkland this year at the. Oh, so Central won the state yeah. champion. <laughs> yes, they did. When was you, this? You must have been sleeping, huh? <laughs> no, I definitely wasn't sleeping. I was. I, I will thank Shooting Stars for. Broadcasting them all year long. Oh yeah, we were wasn't able to get out as many games this year, and then that state game on TV was huge because I couldn't get up to the state game. I was really bummed out about that. But that's the good thing about shooting stars around here, and being able to showcase these athletes. Sometimes our schedules as as adults, you can't always get yep. out here to support these young men and. You guys go out there and do a great job showcasing them for us. Well, thank you. Yeah, I've, 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 I've watched the streams over and. And hear what you guys have to say about same. certain players, and, and I'm sure these kids do the same thing. Yeah. They want to hear what you're talking about. <laughs> players, uh, coaches, and fans. I, mean, I, I and, come back from the old cable for York days. Yes, and we love that stuff. We would rewind yep. that over and over again to see what they talk about. And I, I Kevin Drawball, if I remember correctly, yeah, remember coach, with cable, cable coach yep. Kevin Drawball. I coach him. Kevin, he was coach the coaching football over there at West York. Right? Yeah, cable well, four. Good. Shout out to Kevin Drawball. He, Excellent human being as well. He's, uh, yeah, they were really. It would be the... nice to get him out of retirement. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Hey, Kevin, give us a call. We're looking for a. We're looking to stretch your legs a little bit, sir. Under five minutes remaining here in regulation, and Central with a lead, fifteen to six over Land Peter Strasburg. We hope to make our way down the field here. You know, I mean, at the very least, maybe talk to a player of the game or some pictures with some of the players from the winning team. Yeah, I mean, as far as player of the game, you got those three guys, but let's let's give credit to where credit's due. Something we weren't expecting is that goalie. That freshman. Yeah, freshman goalie. Making some good Jonas big stops. Stoll. Let's not forget about that young man. I mean, I know he's getting some help from the defense, but he, he ate up a lot of goals today. Yeah, it certainly is a big team win, but that 
that, that goalie today, he, he deserves a big shout out. That's a freshman in goal. It's when you when you start doing that, he's a freshman. Too. He's a freshman. <laughs> when the whole crowd gets up there. That's what this cross team needs. They need a student section now. Yes. Get out of here, kids. And that sun went behind the clouds here, Paul. It looks rather chilly outside our broadcast booth yeah, here with the wind. Yeah, it feels more like maybe like football weather in the fall here. Yeah. yeah. Got that JV football feel. You got the. It's not. It's not dark yet, but it's getting there. Yeah, it's, the lights are on here the lights, at the stadium. Just yes. Came on. It's Cam Gee, Deal. I mean, there's our future running back at Central. He'll be a senior next year. I didn't leave him. Have a feeling we'll be calling his name here on football field here in the fall for Central. But right now it's Central's boy lacrosse team, and it's been all Central tonight, 15-6 to over Lamb Peter Strasburg with just over three minutes remaining. Yeah, I think we're just wheeling around here and letting the click try and get out of here without any injuries of any kind. You just want to keep everybody healthy. You got this far in the game. Let's keep everybody healthy. Yeah, I want to give a big shout out to the athletic director of Central York, Dan Hagerman, who's always accommodating to sports shooting stars and allowing us to come in here and broadcast, whether it's boys lacrosse, basketball games, Girls volleyball and of course the football games here. Tip of the hat to the AD for Central Dan Hagerman. Yeah, and we uh, and we actually started with the longtime AD Marty Trimmer uh, back in the day. Yeah, it's always nice to have good ADs in your program to know what this actually means to student athletes and and the community. And I'm glad to hear you guys give Mr. Hagerman a salute. Can't be easy. Being we a saw part us. of a big school program oh. like Central is, I mean. And the expectations. You're 6A, yeah. Yeah. you've got to deliver. And, so and they far, certainly have. Yeah. Well, all sports, yeah. Two thirty two remaining here in fourth quarter. Your score Central York fifteen, Lampeter Strausberg six. The final minutes are upon us here from Central York Stadium. And we thank you for tuning into the this afternoon broadcast this Friday. And we're back to action here. Yeah, there's some yeah, double team there. There's a double team. It's kind of a little late for that, though. It's, it's, it's little, that might be out of frustration that they're doing that. Mm. And then it looks like they just put a bunch of stick handlers out there for Central. Just, just kind of bleed the clock yeah, a little bit here, huh, everybody, Paul? Everybody's wide. You've even got Mitchell up top now. Not really anybody in their big position. They're just going to wheel it around. Under two minutes remaining here in regulation. Tiki got himself in a jam, a little pickoff. And what it appears is if Central's going to hold on for the W here tonight, who come in with a 7-1 and one record and presumably move to 8-1. and one. Lamb Peter Strasburg will fall to 8-1. and one. Their first loss of the season. And you got to feel, Paul, that Slam Peter Strasburg, maybe it was just an off night for this team, but they're going to bounce back out of the LL. Yeah, um, actually, I, I think I wrote down here a couple of future games they have. They will be playing Dallas Town here in 420. Uh, and then they'll have Hemfield. They got, they got a couple of games to get ready for, too. So they, 
Still a long season left uh, here in the spring season. This is one game you probably want to forget is Lampeter Stroudsburg. Clean up the mistakes. Maybe this was a game. They just they just got overwhelmed today. There you go. Get in this. Central York getting the ball out down to Mitch yeah, and Myers. And normally M Mitchell Myers would take a shot yeah, would, <laughs> on net there. Jam right down their throat, but he pulled it right back out. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, they have the lead and just kind of want to bleed some time off the clock that here. Team again. That's Under a minute remaining. And we mentioned Mitchell Myers will finish with five goals. Brandon Anderson with five goals as well. Cameron Deal, four goals. Tiki Bad Bagwell had one goal. All adds up to 15 goals for Central. For Lampeter Strasburg, who scored six. And here's the waning seconds here, Paul. And and what a debut for you today, Paul. An outstanding yeah, job it, here on the mic. And uh Thank you for coming in and adding your expertise tonight. Yeah, thank you guys for the invite. I was uh, when I got the message from Dude, boy, did I him and haul for a little bit. And I, and actually, Dude, to, to be honest with you, I've seen some of your your posts lately, and giving back to the community is one of the big things that you talk about. And I figured this is a great opportunity to do the same. It is, and uh, we came a little bit of fear myself. It's the first oh, time I've ever done this. And, I Handled it you. like a pro. Oh, yeah, I appreciate it. Yes. You made it very easy for me. Well, thank you. I, it's pleasure working with you. Tom. Appreciate it, yes. First time we did it, we, we'll have to do it again. <laughs> sure. No doubt. We'll, Absolutely. As both teams meet, kind of at midfield to shake hands. I'm going to say this just in case he's listening, but I'm no John Turpak. So, Turpak, you can come back anytime you want. He was here last year, if you remember, for uh, uh, some of the great. girls' broadcast. He does an excellent job doing this. Yes. He's very well versed on lacrosse. Above my level. So we're doing a JV game. We want to do it down there. Mitchell. Sounds good.
everybody here. Uh, Welcome back, sports fans. Todd Edwards, midfield here at Central York with uh, some winning players from Central York. And I'll tell you what, we'll start off right to my right, Mitchell Meyer. You scored your 100th goal. How special was that? You finished with five tonight. Talk about that and this big win over Lamb Peter Strauss. Oh, it felt really good. It was a great team win. We definitely pushed out the pace. And I mean, it was just a great feeling to celebrate with my teams. Yeah, and I also saw post game. You got pictures with moms and everything. Talk a little bit about that. Uh, it's mom day, so they get to wear one of our jerseys, and then they get to come out on the field, and we get to get a group uh, picture no at the doubt. end of the game. Yeah, great experience. Uh, to your right, freshman goalie Jonas Dahl. Oh yeah, let me. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah <laughs> Jonas Dahl. Uh, your thoughts? You, you only gave up six, but a lot of shots on goal. Talk a little bit about that tonight. Yeah, I was just reading the ball well, then. I was just doing my job, saving the shots, Talk, yeah. talking to my defense, and we were all working well as a team. Well, yeah, no doubt about it. And you have to be, as a freshman, to come out here and play for this central team. Uh, Cameron Deal, I know you're to my left. I, I remember you playing football, but tonight it was about lacrosse. You finished with four goals. What did this win mean to you, for you tonight? It was really good. I mean, Lampier's a really good team. They're one of the best teams we'll play all year. Coach told us to come out, put them away early, and just don't take our foots off their necks and just keep on going. We played really well. Yeah, a big win, and you knocked off Lamb Peter Strasburg. Any questions from you tonight? Uh, talk I just want to congratulate you all um, tonight. Uh, Lamb Peter Strasburg, good team. I'll be honest, I wasn't expecting you guys to come out as hard as you did. Uh, you guys have been known to be a little slow out of the gate. You guys put it on them today. And, uh, well, I want to talk to Brandon got, Anderson as well. Yeah. From, uh, Brandon uh, came out the second half. Yeah, Brandon. Wanted to be part of the goals. scoring party. Five goals. Yeah. And going to Hood, talk a little bit about tonight's win. Uh, tonight's win is just very special. Lampier Strasburg is an amazing team, and our coach, like Camp said, told us to put him away early, and that's what we did. Yeah, you did. You kind of landed that first punch, and they never really seemed to recover. How about it, Mitch? Nah, yeah, uh, as soon as we, uh, coming out of a hat, I mean, they were already down, so they didn't really have a lot of like effort to give anymore. So after we scored like our first three goals coming out of half, they didn't want to play anymore with us. Yeah, you took the will out of them, and congratulations, a big W. Central York Panthers with the win tonight. Congratulations. You'd like to say anything to maybe some family that are watching? Uh, thank you for supporting us, and I uh, love you guys if you're watching. <laughs> I got nothing. Said it all, huh? Yeah, said it what all. deal said? What deal, yeah, said. What deal said? What deal said? Well, we'll end on that note. Congratulations, and we'll let you get back to your family and friends, and uh, all the best the thank remainder you. of the season, gentlemen. Hey, we forgot we Todd, we forgot to give out the uh we forgot to give out the Oh yeah, yeah, let's give the This is your your <laughs> present for your hundredth goal. Thank you.